Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. So I've just unboxed the Jada Toys uh, Wave 2 figures of Ken and Dalsim. So now I'm going to unbox this uh, figure of M. Bison. So this is the last of the Wave 2 figures from Jada Toys. Ultra Street Fighter 2 Final Challengers version. So here we have the arcade style arcade machine uh, packaging. So as it says there, M. Bison or Vega in Japan because he's originally called Vega. So Country of origin unknown and fighting style is psycho power. So here's the back of the box with the product shot of M. Bison right there. Top of the box and the bottom legal information right there. And yeah, let's go ahead and unbox this one there's the Here's the background of, uh, I think it's a Cambodian, like a bell, not familiar, yeah, but let's set that aside. And then we've got the instruction manual here. Yeah, how to detach the cape how to remove the shoulder pads and how to install the alternate shoulder pads right there yeah. so here's M. Bison in the clam shell so definitely looking good so we've got a the head sculpt right here is the neutral one, the serious face, and then we've got the angry face right there, and then we've got a pair of extra grabbing hands as well. Default is a close fist, and then we got the psycho power effect right here the purple Hadouk uh, Shoryuken or yeah and then we've got the shoulder pad right here it's flying off <laughs> so there's the left one and the right one there's LR on the So, same as usual, we got the five, there's five uh, cable ties right there. And then one on the psycho 
flame effect right there. There you go. Oh, the kit is different material. It's like a polyester kit, not the fabric one. It's different material right here. So let's set aside that. Uh, I get this psycho power effect. So here's M. Bison looking good. is on a like maroon matte finish or yeah, just or red red uh, cap and then the red uniform uh, and then we've got the nice fabric right here it's the cape is on a wire on the sides and at the bottom so definitely you can and then there's a little on the top as well so you have to like so start from the back of the shoulder pad pull towards the front to unclip it uh, okay ah uh, yeah from the back get it to the front and then click it's easy so there's the right right there and secure the shoulder pad at the front push down firmly to the back until it snap securely in place so Start on the front. Mm. Let's see what it looks like. I got the wrong one left that's why there you go easy to attach yeah you just clip it in the front and then you hear the snap and that's it yeah definitely yeah. nice feature right here easy to attach and detach and yeah so So here's M. Bison without the cape, ah yes, without the cape, just the shoulder pad. So the face looks good, 
the cap there's a gold eagle right there on the top which is nicely painted and then we got the blue shades right there eyes is just white and then yet yeah, definitely sculpt is right there and this is what it looks like and for the angry face yeah you can see that they captured it so definitely this is a nice figure but I think he's a little smaller uh, here's to you he should be like another inch taller I guess Ryu is probably six inches so he is six and a half he should be around like seven I think seven inches so he's around six and a half inches or 16 centimeter uh, uh, very underwhelming maybe that's the only gripe I have with this figure but the sculpt the paint the overall look it, it looks good no complaints it's just the height he should be definitely much more taller I guess so for the articulation again on a ball joint on the neck on the top and at the bottom so the hair does not hinder his movement looking up and looking down so we can turn left and right and tilt so very nice articulation right there on the head and for the arms you can yeah, do the t pose you can do the, the 360 you have to be careful with the shoulder pad it came off so yeah it's easy to attach anyway see no problem so you're gonna you can move the hands that much and then you can yeah move it like that because of the shoulder piece right here maybe you can adjust it no it's definitely the the shoulder piece that is blocking the movement from going 360 so butterfly joint is all right i guess you can oh, yeah, it's popping again and then we've got the bicep swivel right there and then you've got your pinless double jointed elbow then you've got a hinge a ball and a hinge on the wrist so you can move it whatever which way you want so for torso you can art 
that much no gap gap right there and then you can lean forward crunch again there's a significant piece right here and there's no gap very nice I like it others you can yeah, look at that so there's an up crunch and then you got the swivel on the waist hidden by the belt this is soft rubber soft plastic rubber and then you've got the ball joint right there there's a tie cut so that's where your swivel comes in no cut here the knees is pinless double jointed uh, this is not I don't like the design but yeah you have your yeah very nice movement but doesn't look good so there's your ankle a hinge go up and down and a swivel no tie no toe articulation so let's replace the head with the angry one and then you got your there's the grabbing hands for the uh, uh, you can use it yeah for the psycho I don't know what's his psycho psycho power Sla uh, yeah this effect right here similar to sure you can and I'm just gonna cut this part there's an excess string on the thread on the keep there you go so to attach the cape just put it there you can hear the click and that's it yeah very easy to put no worries right there so and for the cape because of the what it is wired and you can move it whatever direction you like so yeah definitely this is a nice figure right here So definitely another banger figure right here from Jada Toys and with the price point yeah it is a definitely a highly recommended figure for you to pick up so there you go 
and let's try to com do some scale comparison so wave one figures we've got J the toys view and then uh, wave one Chunli and then yeah. so it's just a little I think they almost have the same height but he has the cap that's why he looks taller no yeah he's just like a little taller than Ryu so here's the wave two figures Ken Masters and Dalsim ah, definitely looking good I'm looking forward on getting the wave 3 figures of Gail, Chunli and DJ so let's uh, do this one SH Figure Arts uh, View and SH Figure Arts Ken and we have uh, SH Figure Arts Outfit 2 John Lee and then I got a custom cape right here with the SH Figure Arts M. Bison so there you go and as you can see the SHF is taller than the J the toys so it's almost like 6.75 inches or 17 well this one is 16 so he's a centimeter taller so just by looking at it I guess my SHF is still uh, I still prefer the SHF but this is not a bad figure it's still definitely a good one so yeah, you have to put him in the same line I guess with your other Jada toys well this one really is good for both J the toys and SH figure arts so yep yeah. so if you like my video today please do subscribe to the channel and yeah so I hope you like my unboxing and review for today and yeah See you on my next unboxing. So bye for now and have a nice day. Ciao.